we are gonna need some of this. Yeah, and I've been working every night into the day shift. I wanna be on every song that's in your playlist. I want my lyrics to be written as your status. The time is flying and I'm trying not to waste it. What's up, K Mafia? Crystal here. Let's just let's just talk. So I went to the hair salon to get my hair straightened about a month ago, a little over, a month and a week ago, and I left with starter locks. It was on a whim, I did not understand. I have been wanting to get locks for at least five years, but for some reason, I was always um, hesitant. I felt as though I could not commit. <laughs> and uh, here we are. My hairs are officially starting to lock in certain places. And it has been, huh, I did not realize how much I hated seeing my hair in its natural, undefined state. I did not realize how much of an issue I had with my edges not being laid. And the odd thing about it is I would see women with their edges like not laid, you know, with their froze out, with their kinks popping, and I'm like, yeah, girl, yes. But when it came down to me, I was like, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> Outside sources made me feel like my black wasn't beautiful. Thus far, my hair is teaching me patience and it is evolving my sense of what is beautiful. And not for other people, but for myself. I think the theme in my life for the last really long while has been patience. Colonialism has done a number on our people. <laughs> And as much as I think we like to ignore our internalized hatred for ourselves, the truth is it's there, we, we have it. It's, it's something that you were constantly taught every day. You were taught to be quiet in these rooms. You were taught to keep your head down. You were taught to take up the least amount of space possible. As a black woman, I feel like in, in every place that I am, I am super hyper conscious of the space that I am taking up. I am hyper conscious of where I go and where I look and I think that that also ties in greatly to like the whole weight loss thing is I always wanted to take up the least amount of space possible because I just don't want trouble. We were conditioned and built to make ourselves small for other people's comfortability and mentally that meant anything that will bring attention to myself I, I don't want that i don't want my hair not to look kept because that's a strike i don't want to speak too loud if i if i start code switching and using ebonics then oh that's a problem and it's like this burden you carry every day of like of it's just it's it's this constant weight on your shoulders of in every room I step in, I am now representing all black people. So if I mess up, as a group, we mess up. And that, listen, that is emotionally taxing. So I've learned that I have to grant myself the room to undo that. I have to have patience with myself. You think of the way you do things and certain habits you have and you constantly blame yourself for these habits, etc. But the truth is a large part of, of the reason you perpetuate these behaviors is because these were behaviors you were forced to. Like this doesn't come just from your mom and your grandma. Like this is, <laughs> this is epigenetic. Like this is huge. Anyway, patience to unlearn behaviors that you might deem as toxic or might deem as problematic. Patience with yourself to accept that where you are now is not where you will always be, but to lean into the lessons that you are being taught. Just patience because this life shit isn't easy. <laughs> and and the thing about it is everyone else is so pressed on making it look like they have their shit together that, <laughs> that they're judging you for not having it together publicly. Jeez. Truth is I'm tired. Truth is 
I know I constantly complain about like, oh my gosh, being a millennial and adulting and adulthood is hard, but it is. It is. It's like this constant, am I doing this right? Am I hurting someone? Am I stepping on this person's toes? Am I where I need to be? It's like, it just never stops. And it's the lesson of patience. Like, hey, chill, you got this. Like, relax, relax. I think if more people were transparent with their bullshit and the weight that they had on their shoulders, less people would feel so inclined to compress the way they feel and we'd have so much less mental health issues because I think a lot of our mental health issues come from the fact that we don't want to talk about the fact that we have mental health issues. And then here you are comp compartmentalizing, going through your life, having children and like that affects your children and then blase blase and it just is a little cycle that continues and never ends and i really don't know if any of this is making sense but yeah um so to go back to what i said in the beginning i got started locks and what may have seemed like just a hairstyle has been the key into opening Pandora's box and releasing things and freedom and and just a whole lot a lot of that I'm still figuring out but I will keep you posted on so um don't be selfish with your laughter share with your friends don't forget to rate comment and subscribe if you have locks leave me some tips down below because you know your girl doesn't know what she's doing <laughs> Shout out to Janika for knowing what she's doing and keeping them all together. I'll put her detail down below. Um, but um, yeah, patience. Be patient with yourself. Be patient with your journey. Be patient with the people around you because they're on journeys too. And be patient with people even when they're not being patient with you. Y'all know I make these videos for myself more than anything else, right? Love you guys. Later.